All right, we're gonna be seeing what is the actual weight difference from the SL7 to the SL8. We're transferring everything off this bicycle, including the pedals, cages, and Garmin mount over to the new SL8. And the SL8 will be getting the exact same size frame, same seats, but just the upgraded new handlebar as well. So right now we're at 7.57 kilos and in pounds, 16 pounds, 11 ounces. And then we'll get you the final weight once the whole bicycle is changed over. Tarmac S-Works SL8 in a size 54, the exact same build as what you guys just saw on the SL7, weighing in at 15 pounds, 12 ounces, and in kilos, 7.13 kilos. A crazy weight difference. I'll tell you guys why this thing weighs so much differently from the counterpart of the SL7 in just a second. All right, guys, so you just saw it here first. I took everything that was off the SL7, and it's the same exact size as size 54, and I changed over to this brand new S-Works SL8. Same size 54 frame set, Different seat posts, obviously, and then different handlebar because of the fact that it is a the newer integrated one-piece bar and stem, but the exact same configuration what it was running before, a 100 by a 42 on there as well. So everything to the T, same as like water bottle cages, pedals, the garment mount, everything that was on there is exactly on this bicycle now. Now, the way it dropped a pound on there is actually pretty crazy to me. Uh, we all know with the SL8s that they, um, that they dropped, they said that the frames now are 685 grams. Uh, for their lightest weight frames compared to the Tarmac SL7 s frames, which used to be about 800 grams. Um, but there's a couple things to keep in mind here. One, this is a matte paint job, okay? So this is their matte carbon with the blue, which is a gorgeous color. If you guys don't see this, I mean, right here, it looks matte black. That looks like a plain black bike, but when you come all the way on top of it, it looks gorgeous with the blue on there. Like, that's a gorgeous looking paint job. But one, this is a matte paint job on a bicycle. I'm not gonna lie to you, the gloss paint job look amazing but you'll be surprised at how much a gloss paint job adds to a bicycle uh, in terms of paint jobs. Um, if, if you don't believe me, go ahead and get the exact same paint, or if you could ever find one, find a matte paint job compared to a gloss paint. It does add a good amount of grams in there. Two, like I said before, they shaved about 800 grams down to 685 grams on there. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that one is the weight difference of there, which is about a half a pound they saved going from the SL7 to SL8, and then maybe just a gloss paint, which is crazy. Also, we have taken to effect as well. We have the brand new Revol Rapid bar and stem combination, which they save you a good gram weight on there as well. Um, so yeah, to get down a whole pound by going down <laughs> frame is, is fucking crazy. I'm not gonna say a lot of you guys, I was not expecting it, but everything is exactly to the T of what we swapped over to. I didn't touch anything on the wheels or nothing. Now this whole entire bicycle is a semi force and SRAM ride buildup. Starting off with the first here, we have the one piece bar and stem Revol Rapid cockpit. Uh, which looks really nice. We have the out front mounts with a Garmin on here as well. You can add a light or a GoPro if you needed to, but we're rocking on this bicycle, a brand new SRAM Force rainbow, which I think the rainbow tint adds some nice color to this bluish hue frame. Smaller hoods, new ergonomics. Um, these now are like the rival hoods. And then I also have maybe the new SRAM red that's gonna rumor to come out soon, might fall same suit as well. For the bar tape, we chose to do a SRAM um, Crux gravel uh, bar tape that's a little bit more cushiony on there. I think the dimples kind of match this tape right here as well, or the, the flat part on the bar. In the front of here, we have the speed sniffer. This is what's going to make it more aerodynamic. They say it's about 16 seconds faster, over 40 kilometers uh, to the SL7. That is for you guys to decide, but I will say I got to demo this bicycle. I will be getting one myself. Obviously, you guys know I'm a specialized guy, but one thing I will say is that I didn't know if I could feel the aerodynamics as much as what they claim, because it's hard to feel 16 seconds, but the bicycle was tremendously comfortable, but it still felt very stiff. It felt like when you put down power, it felt like the bicycle wanted to take off. So I was very pleased with it. I'm waiting for mine. I just need to get a frame set for me, but yes. For the wheels, we have Revol Rapid CLX wheels uh, with a ceramic bearings built in there and their own CLX hub. Bladed spokes and DT Swiss 180 internals. For the wheels we have on here are tires. We have the Challenge Criterium RS tires and a TLR with a 700 by 27C tire and the white walls. And then for the tubes, they are the Pirelli TPU tubes and a 35 gram tube. Again, that's a crazy lightweight tube um, for this bicycle. We have the Garmin mount sensor that was on there as well in the beginning. And then for the rotors, I have on your XTR rotors just for the look of it. And for the weight with the brand new skewers, you have the proprietary disc brake mount uh, adapter in the front here. This only fits a 160 and this only works with the SL8. So you cannot run a 140 on the front of these bicycles, just to let you guys know. Keep that in mind if you're trying to lose some weight, that's all you can get on there. Uh, yeah, the beautiful s logo going down the side. He has these super cas kind of chameleon cages that matches on the bicycle really well. Um, on the bottom bracket here, we have a Hambini bottom bracket. 
That is a BSA Hambini SRAM dub bottom bracket. That thing spins for days with SRAM red crank arms and all Tegra pedals on there. I'm going to advise him to change those pedals out immediately. I did not know those are all Tegra. <laughs> he should go take a look, Keel Carbon Blade, or he should go to a Durace on there. Uh, again, like I mentioned before, you have the SRAM red crank arms, but then we have the brand new Force chain rings in the black color with a 4835 tooth chain ring, a SRAM red uh, rainbow chain, and then this SRAM Force new front derailleur. They said with the SRAM Force front derailleur that it fix the front derailleur shifting. It's much more better and works better. Hopefully you guys understood the word better. On the Asterix frames, they're all gonna be 12R carbon. R stands for road, but 12R is gonna be the best they offer. Now they're making SL7s in a 9R carbon. You can also get a 10R carbon, but if you want the best of the best, it is going to be 12R carbon. Going to the rear, we have the rainbow cassette as well, a 1033, which again, I think gives this bicycle a beautiful pop of color. With the rainbow and the blue on there, gorgeous. It like matches so well in the sun. Rear is the SRAM Force derailleur, and again, it has the wireless batteries. Again, SRAM Red, SRAM Force, and SRAM Rival. All the same software, all the same um, motors and batteries and stuff like that. The only thing different on there is going to be hardware. So you're getting the exact same tech that you would on the SRAM Red. And a lot of people like this new SRAM Force. I'm gonna do a video soon where I have a Force Grupo side-by-side -side to Red to see what the weight difference is, but I don't think that much. For the rear wheel, it's a CLX Rapide, 60, 60 millimeter deep dish wheel with again the exact same tire as the front a criterium rs 700 by 27 tire with a tpu tube in there again by pirelli and then for the back uh rotor it's a 160 millimeter uh 160 millimeter xtr rotor with the disc brake mount adapter on there you can run a 140 on here in the rear if needed to but uh yes you have the options for it for the seat post on here i just have a regular phenom saddle because it's what the customer prefers but we could definitely line this thing up by going to a lighter weight saddle 155 saddle, nice wide cutout, and a good looking bicycle. But look at that color. This color is super underrated. You can get this color actually in a full bicycle build or on a frame set. But man, it's a beautiful color. Like you wanna be stealth, black, okay? Black. You wanna be hard and hot? <laughs> Doesn't sound good at all. You wanna be sexy hard and hot? You wanna be rock hard? You wanna be, you wanna be, you wanna be sweaty, you want it hard? You want that hard? Get that right there, that chameleon. Beautiful. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.